Hey church family and friends, I'm going to do a short little devotional today on decision fatigue. I am at Russian River Brewery uh, and uh, yesterday we were here having lunch with some friends and family and they were uh, a little discouraged because today they were um, going to be closing their restaurant. So today is uh, it's dinner time and uh, the parking lot is empty and you just think about all the decisions that went into getting their business up and going and then having to make all these decisions to make all these cutbacks. Uh, there's just a lot going on and so what's happening is with, with all these decisions we're forced to make and the culture we're living in, um, people are suffering what's called uh, decision fatigue and uh, people in general are just tired because the decisions we have to make, especially if you have a lot of responsibilities, all those decisions affect uh, so many other people, so many other things like dominoes or a ripple effect. And so uh, we have a church and school and different ministries and all these decisions coming from the government and state and guidelines uh, just uh, it wears on you because the decisions that we make we know affect a lot of people and lives and so uh, there's just a lot of tired people out there right now and so I want to do a little devotional on how to help with that um, how to make good decisions how to make uh, how God's Word talks about making decisions so I want to give you five uh, five things that I'll start with the letter P. Maybe you can help uh, remember these things. So the first one is uh, principles. So making decisions based on God's word and the principles that God sets forth in His word over and over again. The Bible talks about uh, it's right, it's righteous. It helps us to know the right things to do in life. And so that's where we start in Christianity is with the word of God and what the Bible says is true. Secondly, um, people, the people God puts around you or the people that you are able to collect around you, the Bible says there's wisdom and a multitude of counselors. And so uh, I call this just having a board of directors in my life of different um, parts or aspects of my life that I just try to have really smart people, wise people around to help me make the best decisions I can make um, for, for my life, for my family's life. So I just encourage you to put smart people around you and also to listen to the things that they're saying. Third uh, would be the area of providence, P. Uh, this is God being in control of all things and we trust in his goodness and his sovereignty and uh, to know that um, there's, there's doors that are open at times in life and doors that are closed as we make decisions. Also just to um, see the, the landscape we're in right now in the arena you're in. Uh, might be there might be new opportunities that are afforded right now there might be some closed doors that are afforded right now but just kind of seeing what's happening around you and uh, the recession or a financial downturn is actually a good time to get rid of just dead wood stuff that's not working in your life and your business um, this would be a good time to to restructure some things uh, in this downturn fourth area would be an area of prayer and uh, just talking to God about your problems. Uh, ask him to lead you and guide you and give you the strength to live by faith as you make decisions. Uh, just putting your faith in God that this is the decisions he's wanting you to make. I think about my kids at times where uh, uh, they, they do stuff sometimes and struggle through things that they would just ask me, their dad or their mom, um, to help them through this. We would love to come alongside and help, but just ask, right? So. Uh, God is our father, God is our, our parent. He wants to come alongside and help us in this life. Fifth would be peace, the area of peace. So in Colossians 3, it says, let the peace of Christ rule in your heart or umpire in your heart. So this is uh, a subjective peace to decision making, uh, but it's it's Christ's peace in us as we've been reconciled to God that, uh, that will help you uh, make decisions in your life. And an interesting thing about uh, the peace of Christ, um, in the Western culture, we think of peace as like lack of tension or lack of conflict. Uh, and an Eastern idea or a, a biblical idea or Hebrew idea of peace, shalom, uh, means wholeness and complete and restored and unified. And so uh, Christ is our Prince of Peace. Christ helps us um, have reconciliation with broken things um, he's restoring all things when you think about making decisions instead of making a decision that'll um, bring less tension to your life uh, it might be you need to make a decision that actually brings more wholeness or completeness to your life and not only to your life but those around you and the sphere that God's given you influence around you as well 
So principles, God's word, people, just having wise people around you, providence of God, um, knowing he's in control, opening, closing doors, uh, prayer, and then peace. All right, hope that helps, church. Love you guys, miss you, and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. All right, bye.